President Meta arrived at an extraordinary conference to comment on the decision by the Electoral College on the deregistration of the National Unit Party, stating that the decision does not affect his decree to cancel the June 30th elections. During his meeting with the residents of Unit 2 in Tirana, the Prime Minister did not only reiterate his position of holding the elections on June 30th, but also claims the President is acting unconstitutionally. Through an instruction sent to the prosecution offices in the districts, Marku approves harsh measures in court for detainees regarding the violation of the elections. It's 6 o'clock on Tuesday, the 25th of June, 2019. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to RTV Aura's English edition. My name is Oliver, bringing you the only daily update of the local Albanian news translated into English. Well, unlike the majority, which considers the decision by the Electoral College just a day earlier, a confirmation of the June 30th elections to take place, President Mehta continues to support the cancellation of the elections, explaining that the Electoral College's decision is valid only between parties and bears no relation to the decree by the head of state. In an extraordinary statement to the media, President Mehta said the Electoral College took its decision under the political pressure of the majority and branded the institution as a socialist organization. Yesterday's decision taken by the Electoral College is a procedural trick to politically justify the unlawful activities of the socialist organization in the CEC and a desperate attempt to construct a propaganda operation in and out of the country to indirectly demonize the head of state's decision. This is a failed operation because it does not affect the validity of the decree by the President of the Republic. It is clear that this decision of the Electoral College, orchestrated and foretold long ago, has been taken under the conditions of the majority's pressure and political blackmail, stated Meta. He made it clear that only the Constitutional Court can be the court to discuss and turn down the President's decree, adding that his decree for the cancellation of elections is in force and an obligation for everyone. He insisted that the only way to solve the crisis is through political dialogue. The decree of the president, number 11199, dated on June 10, 2019, revoking the decree for the June 30th to serve as the date for the local governmental elections, was taken in full compliance with the Constitution and the fundamental principles upheld by it, especially regarding political pluralism. Consequently, only the Constitutional Court, and only it, may adjudicate the validity of the decree of the President of the Republic. Meanwhile, as the President of the Republic, I continue to be patient, waiting for them to reflect and to realize that they have responsibilities not only to their followers, but to all citizens and Albanian taxpayers, and especially to the European future of Albania, which is being jeopardized. I insist that the only way to solve the crisis is through political dialogue and by abiding by the law, said Meta. Meanwhile, for the June 30th elections, the head of state said it was an illusory illegal process while appealing once again for reflection. In the, pre in the end, President Mehta said that the elections without, without the opposition and without democratic standards would undermine the country's European future. And next up tonight, in a response to President Ilir Mehta that the majority is heading towards what Mehta calls imaginary elections, Prime Minister Eddie Rama responded while expressing determination to hold elections and even excluded any possibility for the process to be postponed after June 30th. At the meeting with residents of Unit 2 in Tirana, Rama explained the necessity of having a fair election process while claiming that those who do not take part have committed political suicide. Rama demanded that the initiative for the dismissal of President Mehta go until the very end, under the conditions outlining a violation of the Constitution. The Prime Minister also reserved a bit of irony for the President, who advised him to make the decision of cancelling the elections. Even though we are five days away from the June 30th elections, not a single party has thus far decided to change their position. Just a few days before the June 30th elections, the international community has intensified its efforts. The Chargé d'Affaires of the U.S. Embassy in Tirana, Leila Moses Wanz, went head-to-head -head for more than one hour in a meeting with Democratic Party Chair Luzin Basha at the DP headquarters. It is learned that the conversation focused on the political situation and the upcoming June 30th elections. 
After the meeting, Basha did not want to comment on what he discussed with Leila Moses Ones, but stressed that on June 30th, there will be no elections, despite not unveiling details of the Democratic Party's plan for the election day. Moreover, Basha denied that he had given orders to sow chaos on election day at the polling stations. After meeting with the U.S. charge d'affaires at losing Basha's office, the EU ambassador in Tirana, Luigi Sareca, was seen there in a meeting lasting around 50 minutes. Both the United States and the European Union have repeatedly, repeatedly called on Albanian political parties to resume talks in order to resolve the crisis and condemn violence in the protests. The general prosecutor, Arta Marku, has ordered the entire body of the prosecution to stand ready for the June 30th local elections. On June 21st, three days before the Electoral College's decision, Marku signed off on the instruction requesting district prosecutions to organize a reinforcement service before, during, and after the elections. The general prosecutor points out that the purpose of the instruction relates to the investigation and prosecution of penal offenses, which she maintains affect free and fair democratic elections, as well as the serious penal offenses related to them. The instruction advises first instant prosecutors to double the number of prosecutors and judicial police officers to prepare themselves before and after the election. The preparation service is required to be carried out from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m., while the, in the instruction it requires that the prosecutors and the judicial police officers avoid constant contact with the operating rooms of the local police directorates or police commissariats. Another message from the general prosecutor is related to the tightening of demands for security measures that the prosecution will carry out in court against detainees, arrested individuals for election-related crimes. According to the document, Marku requires that the general prosecution have available telephone numbers of prosecutors and judicial police officers who will be engaged in the run-up to the elections. Another point of instruction is the prompt handling of the Central Election Commission's requirements on the verification of candidates for mayors through the gathering of evidence and information at, in, at home and abroad. The general prosecutor requests that after the referral of the electoral crimes to the prosecution from the judicial police bodies, any communication with the media should be prohibited in the cases surrounding election-related penal offenses. After the request made by the municipality of Lege to release the commissions of electoral administration zone premises, several facilities managed by the Democratic Party in this district have been removed from the voters' lists. Despite this, other electoral materials are expected to arrive in the CAZ's number 12 and CAZ number 13, while the premises of the Huaydet Lege School, along with the Beslidia School, have been taken to custody by the district police officers. In the other right-wing municipalities, the electoral lists are being put up in polling stations, and the commissions of electoral administration zones say that they are working for the preparation of the process. Apart from Leja's district, police officers remain in the municipality of Kamza as well. While inside the commissions of electoral administration zones, work continues in preparation for the June 30th election process. Since the early morning hours near CEAZ number 27 at the Ibrahim Rugova School in Kamza and number 28 in Paskuchan, two police patrols were dispatched, working 12-hour shifts to anticipate any possible tense situations. In front of the entrance and inside the two CAZs are eight police effectives, while in Babru, no officer has been placed on site due to the absence of clashes and disruptive behavior. The police have been alerted one week ahead of election day, with 7,000 police effectives ready to be positioned at the election, at the election polls, while another 5,000 employees, including the Rapid Intervention Forces, will stand by on call. And finally tonight, possible extremes out there. For so many Albanians fighting the flu, symptoms of high temperatures are raising concerns, doctors saying even for children as well. According to doctors, the most affected age group is one to five years old. Pediatricians warn of some disorders that affect children during this season. According to the doctor, mothers should drink bottled juice, should not drink bottled juices or eat canned foods, but rather they should prepare meals themselves. At Health Center No. 10 in Tirana, an average of 10 to 15 visits per day have been recorded for children who are infected by the summer virus. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you so much for watching our English edition this evening. 
And be sure to join us again every Monday to Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of RTV Aura, thank you and have a good night.